Hi, Leo. Getting ready to do your reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. You can also check your Venus and Jupiter. Okay, Leo. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. Eight of Wands, and there you are. World, Judgment, and the Four of Wands. We have the Six of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Star card. Okay, let's see if you can see that, yes. All right, so some of you are feeling heartbroken, or you might, might, I'm going to say might, be involved in a three-party situation. If you don't think you are, then don't worry about that. But Three of Swords, starting out feeling somewhat sad, or you don't have to be heartbroken. You can just be kind of, you know, disappointed. Though you might have someone from your past actually te uh, texting, messaging, communicating with you because those wands are going towards you. So it's like someone else who may be heartbroken, maybe communicating with you. Maybe someone that you put an end to with the world, but they're asking for a second chance is what I'm seeing because they can't get you off their mind. So they could be an Aquarius. Actually, that's, that's kind of more what I'm seeing. So this might be someone that you don't want to hear from. So you may be having an ex, someone showing up again in your life who's telling you that they do miss you. Now it can go the other way too. There could be communication you're sending out to someone that you can't let go of, Eight of Swords, and you're hoping there'll be a positive response from them. Okay, let's go back through though. All right. Seven of Cups, Wondering, Communication, can be from an Earth sign, we have Air sign also. Five of Coin, okay, this could be an Earth sign, there's the Page of Wands, so that's you. This could be an Earth sign who has been watching you with the Page of Swords, is re regretting how things have turned out with the Five of Cups. They have the Knight of Cups energy, the Ace of Swords, a new beginning, and the Fool, wanting to start over. So this is very clearly either a kind of confusing messages from this person, it could be messages some of you don't really want to hear, but this person is overwhelmed. This person doesn't know what to do. Someone doesn't know what to do because they're heartbroken, so they can't like see things straight. They don't know how to get out of their head, how to move forward. This could be you or somebody else. Now, what I'm seeing is they're, they're saying it's from an earth sign or someone with earth in their chart and their moon or rising. could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could also be giving you some type of offer, wanting to get together, wanting to take you out with a page of coin and wanting to get coffee. And they have been watching you with the Page of Swords energy. So checking your social media, maybe driving by. They have not been able to get past the breakup or the ending. So whoever this is, even though it's been over, they just focus on these cups. They're asking for a second chance. This might be another fire sign, but they're asking for a second chance. And for, so either you can get back together, Four of Wands. You have two choices here. You might already be with someone or you might be dating somebody else because of the two of wands, four of wands for some of you. We have a lot of communication here. A lot of pages are showing up. So there could be communication with two people for you. So you may already be dating someone or in a relationship and this could be someone coming back in. Because this is obviously someone coming in from the past, six of cups, someone you already know. Maybe it's not an ex also for some of you. Maybe this is somebody that you work with or it's around you already. Someone wants a new start because they just can't get you off their mind. They're hoping for a, a brand new beginning. They want to start over. That's why for some of you this may not be an ex. It's somebody though that you do know because of the Six of Cups. You do know this person. They want a new beginning with you. Or you guys have two choices. You do have somebody from the past that you know, and you have somebody new. Let me go around one more time. <clears throat> so there's an offer here with the Four of Cups. You really are not sure what to do. There might also be for someone viewing maybe an option between love and money because the Page of Coin is here. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got that. I picked that up for someone. This could have something to do with a new job, also somebody that you just met at a new job. But someone might also be, someone may be missing you so much that they're offering you like, I don't wanna say just money, but like they wanna be together, they wanna buy you things, they wanna take you out, they wanna get engaged, they wanna, you know what I'm saying? It's like that kind of energy, like I'll give you the world. 
Also, though, this is an offer and this could be a new job. So you also might be struggling between two things, not two people, a job and a love, wondering about somebody. Yeah, because there's that eight of coin, ace of wands, queen of swords. Okay. Definitely either a passion, passionate new job you started or a business, something that you really enjoy. So I do feel like this is saying you need to see, see things clearly. I feel like some of you have a really tough decision to make. You know what I'm saying? Like you have some really good options in front of you, but it's hard to know. I don't think you can have all of them. I don't think, because I don't know if it would show up this way in a reading. Or you're afraid to mix business with pleasure. Maybe that's it. Maybe you work with this person or their customer. So it's almost like you need to see it clearly. I feel like that's you there. Though we could have an air sign. But let me see. Okay, we have two of cups. Six of coin and three of coin. So there's definitely love here with somebody. There's definitely a soulmate in the mix here. You, If you're only dealing with one person, then that's who it is. But one of these people is definitely, like if you're, if this reading is resonating and maybe you haven't met this person, you have kind of a hard struggle because I can see you may have a really new job, good job, Ace of Coin, and then, you know, work you love and love. And somebody who is willing, this is someone who's willing to give to the relationship. It's not one-sided. And the two of you, this person's willing to work together. I don't, I'm trying to pick, I'm trying to pick up on other energy too, because if there's a, th if there's three people involved, it's just communication. There's nothing I feel negative going on here. What is the six of coin, please? What is the six of coin? Okay. This person, there's someone here though that I feel is very pushy. This person really wants a new beginning for you. This may be one sided though. Maybe they just want it and you don't. The six of coins though but they're being a little bit pushy like they are willing to do whatever it takes to get you back or get in a relationship with you what's the three of coins please this could also be that um okay let's say it's also that you want both but you can't have both See, something's not going to work, though. So it's telling you something's not going to work. The star card hoping for this beginning with the fool. I feel like it's saying you can't have it all, which I would never normally say. So, But it must be something that you know. Okay, why is the Tower Three of Coins here? Because the fool could be foolish, right? So this doesn't necessarily mean you. Oops, I'm dropping everything over here. Let me pick it all back up. Okay. I, Cause that's why I think why you're the queen of swords. You need to see something clearly. I feel like you have a money opportunity in front of you. That's worth a lot. Um, you may have a soulmate, but I don't think it's this person coming back in from the past. Okay. Um, or you, maybe you want to go back to the past, but I'm thinking here that this is not going to work out. I mean, that's clearly showing me it won't work out. I feel like you're juggling too many people or too many things. Maybe that's it. So adding this new relationship, especially if you work with this person or they are an Aquarius, it will not work. Okay. What is this three of coin tower? Please be more specific. Okay. So someone's a player in the mix. Okay. So someone, so I'm thinking for some of you, one of these people is a play. One of these people yeah, is a player. Um, move, or this is about you moving forward with your own dreams and plans because you can listen to your, okay. So I'm feeling someone's a player. Listen to your intuition. Someone is not going to be there for you. Someone is saying what you want to hear probably now, and then they're going to move on. So be careful of who you add to your list of things to do. See things clearly. If it's just sex, it may just be sex. It may just be very strong, powerful chemistry between the two of you. There's an offer here and there's a new money thing. So be careful of what you start at this time. I, I, I believe all it is, is just one person who is a, who is not going to be consistent and they're a player or they're going to be in and out of your life. Let me say it that way. It's not going to work and you'll know who this is. So if you are viewing this and you're questioning someone who has shown up in your life and you have other things going for you, the moon might be a Pisces, but again, 
This is about, you notice how all of these are at night, okay? The star card, this is night. So you can't see things clearly. You're confused, maybe about this person. Same with the high priestess, secrets. It's night. The moon, more, more things being hidden from you. So the fool and the tower, both all, everything looks like it's night. It's dark. It's cloudy. It's confusing. The fool's foolish. So something seems too good to be true or doesn't feel grounded. So you need to see it that way because that's how this person is. Now they may have a third party. Maybe they do have a third party. You're only talking to them right now. So know that this person is not in your best interest. So I feel like this person who maybe want, really, really wants you back into their life, they can't let you go. You're moving forward. I feel like it's not going to work. I'm, well, I'm seeing it not working. If that's the right person. Because I think you have better options in front of you. Um, you have the six of cups knight of cups two of cups so this person is a soulmate so maybe the person from the past is the right one it's hard for me to know because of who's watching which person is right for you i feel like i can say that even though you have a strong tie to this person that you already know maybe they are still not the one maybe they are a soulmate there's a strong bond that maybe they can't let you go um but the job i feel like the money is important for you right now let me see a couple um there's the honeymoon card. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, retreat. Okay, so what I'm getting, possibly there is a relationship right now with some of you are in where it is fun. It's passionate, but that's all it is, okay? Because that's what it is, the bliss of being together. You know, the chemistry, the two of you. But maybe it's not going to last. Maybe it's not going to go into, um, you know, future, the marriage this is saying retreat, which I feel is important because it's, to me it's about thinking about what you want to do next. Thinking about this person. Um, and then codependency. So someone is dependent on one another. This person I think is coming back in, the ex or whoever knows you because they are, um, they are addicted to you in some way. They can't let you go. Somebody can't let you go is what I'm seeing here very clearly. But I feel like you are ready to move on. This is not somebody that you really want in your life. Now, what's interesting about this card is she is wearing a wedding dress, and so is he. And this is honeymoon. So I am not sure if this person is saying, you know, I'll, I'll sweep you away. This, they may be saying they're going to sweep you away. Where, where do they see that? I'll take you away to Paris, and we can travel, and we'll get married on our honeymoon. I feel like this person doesn't want to be alone, and they're promising you the world. And you could be making your own money, and you could be doing that all on your own, or you have someone new coming in, someone better. This person, I feel like, maybe. um I don't say lying to you, but I feel like they may say all these things and then in a month or two get bored of it and move on. Night of Night of Wands. Move on to something new. So don't miss a chance where it does appear that you have a good job or money. This person may have broken your heart in the past, though, is what I'm seeing. And it almost looks like someone also might be covering up feelings of sadness by just working a lot also. person may have been at your job they definitely want to start something up all right i hope this is not confusing i hope this resonates i'm going to leave it here have a really good week you guys and take care